Happy birthday! All right, Coach, things were kind of looking a little bit kind of bleak for you guys. You're, you're down 2-1. What changed? What flipped the momentum for you? Beard and soccer um, you know, I, honestly, I, I was worried. <laughs> um, the, the goal kind of seemed like it had a wall in front of him, and we couldn't find a way, um, a way in. And, and you know, I, I didn't. I, at this point in the season, um, I would hope I didn't have to say a lot to this, these boys. You know, um, at this point, it's kind of their game to play, and um, I was proud of them. Uh, and it's a young group. I mean, we're we're mostly juniors this year, and um, even sophomores got out there and played and. Um, you know, kind of watch them every time we gave up a goal. It, it was all positive, and it was that they were encouraging each other, and they still believed in each other. Um, and I think that was the difference, um, to be honest. Um, you know, and that's what I told them at the end of our Dobbins Bennett game on, on Tuesday. I thought our reaction to when we got scored on was was bad. You know, I, I thought we kind of let other things um, get in the way of, of us coming out and playing. And, and that's what I told them at the end of the game on, on Tuesday. I said, or, or sorry, on Thursday. Um, was, you know, I, I just said, if we react better when things go wrong, we'll still be in the game. And it's a very talented group. And so um, our ability to react, our ability to stay positive um, was huge. And credit to the seniors, you know, who were coming off of graduation last night and then project grad, and most of them were out until 2 or 3 in the morning, and then being able to turn around and play, play today, um, it's a huge credit to them. And, and, you know, if you look at the Mitchells and Tanner or uh, Jacksons and Evans, who didn't even get to play because of injury, um, you know, our, our three captains, I thought they let us and they, they kept us our momentum going um, throughout that whole second half. And um, so, so honestly, I, I was I was upset because I thought we missed a ton of chances, and I thought we missed a ton of um, easy ones to kind of put the game away. And but huge credit to these boys. Hopefully that means we're rolling and we can take it all the way through to Murfreesboro. Last thing, you as a former player here, uh -huh. uh, taking over for Eric Turner. Yep. Um, you guys get up three to two. The, I'm sure the gravity of the moment's kind of hitting you. Yeah. Down, down <laughs> seconds. How hard was it to kind of control your emotions on those um, couple minutes? The benefit for me is I've been in a ton of these games um, where those last two minutes um, seem like 30 minutes. <laughs> and. There's been some bad things happen to me as a coach in those last two minutes. Um, I remember specifically being up 1-0 against Maryville in my first year, and we had to win that game to seat us better in the postseason, and we gave up a goal with 10 seconds left. Um, and so I've been in plenty. You know, my mind, obviously the boys um, in that situation, I feel like they're going to look at me and kind of see how I'm reacting, and, and I had to keep my composure until I knew that whistle was over. Um, I couldn't see the clock. I could only see it was on my watch, and so I had no idea um, how much time was left. And It was just a matter of keeping the boys composed and making sure we saw out the game and um, doing what I needed to do to kind of kind of make sure we got to that final whistle because I knew Fair was going to throw a lot of punches at us. And, uh, and it was nerve-wracking, but... Um, once the final whistle blows, you can kind of let it all go, and that's the exciting part. And, um, and the boys did great. Uh, we'll see what happens on Tuesday.